Hey guys, so today I am doing a hair tutorial. So many of you guys requested a like a back to school hair tutorial type of video. So today I'm going to be showing you five super, super, super easy heatless hairstyles for back to school for you to do, you know, in the morning before you go to school or really for anybody that's in a rush or running late like I always always am. These are going to be a very basic, very easy, and very quick for you guys to do in the morning, which is what I liked when I was in high school and middle school and stuff like that. It's just I wanted to get out the door as fast as possible so I could sleep for as long as possible in the morning. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing a five heatless hairstyles for me, then please just keep watching. Alright, so to start, my hair is just air dried. I've done absolutely nothing else to it. In high school, that's what I always used to do. I would shower at night and then just go to sleep and let it air dry throughout the night. So then when I woke up, it was dry and it was ready to be styled because then you don't have to use heat on your hair and you also don't have to waste time blow drying your hair because that just adds like a whole another 20 minutes or so to a hairstyle, which we don't want to do. So my hair has just completely been air dried. And some of you might be thinking, I cannot let my hair air dry, I cannot like sleep on wet hair. When I wake up in the morning, it's gonna be gross and disgusting and it's not gonna look good and I'm not gonna be able to style it because I used to think that as well. I always used to think that I had to blow dry my hair for it to look good, but if you use the right products, it's not gonna be like that. So. The first product that I love to use is this Tara Smith Brilliant Thickening Cream. So I just work this through my damp hair. It's about maybe halfway dried and then I just let it air dry overnight and it gives me so much thickness and so much volume because my hair naturally is very fine and thin. So if your hair is like me, this is definitely a must. So I love to apply this on my hair as well as the Tara Smith Base Coat Serum. This is going to make sure that your hair is not frizzy and crazy and mangy when you wake up. So with that out of the side, we are going to start with our air dried hair and get to styling it. Alright, so this first hairstyle I like to call the Ariana Grande. I'm basically just taking the top one third of my hair and pulling it away and just using a brush to make sure it's nice and smooth. And then I'm just securing it with a hair tie that is similar color to my hair so that we don't have like some hair color tie that's like super, super bright or something, kind of just makes it look a little bit more sleek in my opinion. So I'm just kind of securing it really tightly and then just pulling it to give my hair a little volume up top there. And yeah, that is really it for this first hairstyle. I do this a ton, it keeps your hair out of your face and is super easy and quick. Okay, so this next hairstyle, I'm going to pull all of my hair to the side, and I'm pulling it to the side that my bangs go. If you don't have bangs, then you can just pull it to either side, and if you do, pull it to the side where your bangs go. And then I'm just separating my hair into three different sections and just braiding it as usual. No French braids here. I am not skilled enough to know how to do that, but you could French braid too if you wanted to. But I'm just doing a basic braid and kind of braiding it, but I'm only stopping it about halfway down. And I like to leave the end out because I am going to pull the braid to make it look bigger. And I just think it looks a little more like boho when you leave like the end out like that and only kind of do like halfway. So now I'm just pulling the braid apart to make it nice and big and chunky and look like volumized. And yeah, that is it. Kind of just a modern twist on the classic braid. All right, so for this next hairstyle, you're gonna want to separate your bangs from your the rest of your hair. If you don't have bangs, then just take a section of your hair that's in the front and kind of separate it from the rest of your hair. To separate the rest of my hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it back with a hair tie to get it out of my way. Just kind of a little low pony. It doesn't really matter what you do to separate it. Then I'm just going to go through and braid my bangs, but you'll see every time that I get to the end, I will grab another piece of hair. So it's kind of like a French braid in a way. This is just to make sure that the braid does stay flat down to our head. If you don't really care about that, you could just braid it as usual. Um, but this just helps to make it stay nice and flat. So then once I have it done, I'm just going to secure it with a bobby pin and just put the bobby pin underneath the hair. So then we can go ahead and put the rest of the hair down and it will hide the bobby pin so you won't even see it. And it just kind of makes your hair a little bit nicer. And now I'm going through and just spraying this Shining Moment Glosser Spray from Tara Smith as well. And this just gives so much shine to my hair and makes it look super, super healthy. So I love spraying this in my hair when I am going to wear it all down and straight like this because it just makes it look nice and shiny and beautiful. So love that. And that is this completed look. 
Next, we're gonna go ahead and part our hair in the middle and then we're gonna take the kind of front pieces on each side and just twist them away from our face. You could braid them as well, but twisting is just quicker and easier. So I'm just twisting it and then securing it with a bobby pin and doing the same thing on the other side. You don't really need to take a big piece for this. I'm just taking my bangs or you can just take a little small section in the front of your hair if you don't have bangs. And again, securing it with a bobby pin to make sure that it's not gonna move throughout the day. And this is the completed look. I really like this. It's just kind of simple and sweet, but it looks nice and put together. And you can also go ahead and add a little flower crown like this, and then it looks super cute and boho. If you are more of this type of style, I think this is super, super cute as well. You'll definitely get a lot of compliments on this look. All right, so now we are doing the classic top knot bun. So what I'm doing right now is just running my hands over my hair. And what I do to make sure that I smooth down all of my baby hairs is I'll work a little bit of gel in between my palms. The one I'm using is the Rock On Hard Gel from Tara Smith. And I'll just work it on my hair like you guys see me doing. And this just keeps all my baby hairs out of the way. Then I'm just twisting all of that hair on top like so and kind of holding it at its base and then twisting it around to make a bun. And this is just super quick, super easy, but it also kind of looks sleek and put together. Now I'm just securing it again with a hair tie that is the same color as my hair so you kind of camouflage it and can't see it. And then I just kind of work it around with my fingers to get it how I like it. And that is the completed top knot look. I love this with like a big, nice scarf. It's so, so cute. This next hairstyle is one of my personal favorites, but it does require a few more steps, but in my opinion, it is worth it. So what I'm doing right now is just taking the crown part of my hair or the top section of hair on my head, and then I'm gonna grab a teasing brush or comb, either will do, and just gonna lightly tease the back there just to add a little bit of volume. You don't need to tease it a lot. Then I'm just gonna smooth out the tease with the brush to make it nice and sleek and smooth, and then I'm going to grab a little butterfly clip to go ahead and secure that in place on top of my head. It's also gonna help to keep the volume up as well, and then what you can go ahead and do is just take half of your hair and put it up, and it adds a little bit of volume so it's not just like your hair is just strictly half up half down it kind of adds a little something extra with the poof so I like this a lot it is one of my favorite hairstyles to do so I'm just securing the top half of my hair up like so and that is the completed look or what you can do is you can take all of your hair instead of just half and I love love doing this especially even for like the gym and stuff I'll do my hair like this sometimes if I have some extra time so I'm just securing all of my hair up in kind of like a side ponytail I always do it a little bit to the side because I like to be able to see my hair you could do a regular ponytail if you want but that is the completed look it's kind of like a volumized ponytail so I love that for our last look, we're gonna be doing a side top knot. So I'm taking all of my hair and putting it to one side. Again, the side that my bangs go to and then just kind of twisting it and then twisting it around to make a bun. So it's kind of like doing a top knot but on the side of your head and doing it low. So it's like a low knot, I guess you could call it. And then I'm just securing it again with a hair tie to make sure that it stays in place. And then I do like to pull a little section out so that I kind of add some hair. I just like to do that, I don't know, I think it gives it something, um, but you don't have to do that. You could keep all your hair in as well if you wanted to, but that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you did, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.